Hi guys, this is John Judd. Today is going to be about the FL Studio 20 Toolbar. Everyone obviously has their own preferences. I consider myself a minimalist as it comes to the toolbar, and I'd like as few things up there as possible. One of the things that really bothered me when I opened up FL Studio 20, these little icons were all the way on the right side of the screen. We needed to change that. If you want to change up the layout of your toolbar, right click and hit edit. On my screen, you're not going to see all the options that are here. And the reason is I'm working with two screens. To the right of this, I have a lot more options. The general idea of this is you can pick and choose what you're going to add or subtract. So let's say you're dying for the online news. I'll put it right there. Let's say you preferred the online news to be further over to the right. You grab this fixed space, pop it in there, and then we stretch it. And then there we have it over there. And I think it's that simple. When I first opened it, I found it terribly intimidating. It is actually a pretty simple process. The icons for exiting the program are full screen. This is a movable thing. You can grab it and move it. I'm not going to because I like it there. But everything here is movable. So if you're wondering what I like in my toolbar, I actually like to have the hint bar. You have all your options. The snap. CPU monitor, the time, of course. I like to have my metronome. I like to have the count off, the loop recording icon, typing to keyboard, and the step editing mode, as well as your pattern. And I always like to pull up an editor once in a while. That's my minimal setup. Don't be too intimidated. You can do this. Right click, edit. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped.